I mounted my wheel on the back. <clears throat> I put my front ones on. These wheels are just a hair bit taller than my old ones, so. But overall, I think it's still got a good stance. I dig it. I don't know, for some reason I just dig black walls on a hot rod. This thing probably in the end could suit some white walls, but man, yeah, whatever. We can always change that. So we got, where'd we last leave off? We had cut that rear wheel. So I mounted it up, just wanted to see how it is. Keep an eye on it. Overall, everything's good. I'm pretty happy. Should be fine. I'll still have to make that ring, but we'll get to that when we get to the details everywhere in the truck. Like there's so much that needs to be revisited and touched up, so. But <clears throat> what is the plan? I wanna build that structure inside of here so I can uh, kind of get the ball rolling on some stuff. Kind of get the box mounted. That's the goal for this video. And then uh, I think the next one we're gonna squish the lid. But task at hand is take my one by one and build a sloped frame that goes around the whole box. I'm gonna tack it to the sides. I don't know if I'll tack it yet. Maybe we'll do the box off, we'll see. But anyways, the, uh, yeah, get stuff working. <laughs> I don't know, let's start.
All right, I don't remember where I left off. So we've got our framing all in. We have got one uh, floor brace in to which I'm going to drill and then I'll probably countersink a bolt so I can just run a like a or a nut so I can run a bolt through it. Uh, the front, I don't think I'll run another one of these braces. I'll probably just make a little tang off that one by one and I'll build some kind of framing that the box can sit on. And uh, you can tell I changed my plan, like I was going to do the swing, but I realized I can uh, mount my battery under the floor. So I'll be make a, you know, a, a place for the battery under there to which then whatever, I don't have to do anything back here or what I was thinking of doing. So this will just be for fuel tank. All right. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to start building that junk. So we got the, or I got my steering joint in. So I decided to play with that for a little bit. We have super cringy steering set up right now. I was debating making this bolt on because we had to space it away a little bit just to clearance the, uh, the bolts for the steering box. But I might open them up like the, uh, I'll open the frame up a bit so I can get the bolts out from inside. And then I might just make this a permanent fixture on here. I don't really see the need. Factory actually unbolted the bracket that the steering box is on. I may mirror that, we'll see yet. For now, I just temporarily stuck it up to see, make sure nothing was binding. I uh, found an old steering rod that was kind of broken. I'll have to, I'll have to get some proper bits. It was like somebody torched the end off, so I just boogered some stuff on there for now, just to uh, see how it works. But steering feels fine, so pretty happy with that. Now I got, now I can technically steer it. So that's kind of cool. All right. Well, that is sort of mimic for now till I put that sucker back on the hoist and then actually it'll be more like when I pull the motor out, then I'll go revisit everything. Everything's sitting where it's supposed to be right now. The U-joint, uh, everything works good. There's no way it'll separate, so. Uh, but I'll have to pull the column out to be able to get that apart or take the box off one or the other All right, well So I got distracted with that. So now I'm gonna go back to Getting this box so it can be mounted
Alrighty, we got our box all bolted down. So we got a mount there, we got a mount there. These ones we drilled tap, so they're bolted directly into the frame. So the whole system now is pretty tight. Um, I still got to weld up that brace and I'm going to put some gussets on the front. Just because they're kind of towering high, I just want to put some extra support. I found a battery box that works over there, so it needs more, more work just to hold it in tight. But overall it's good, it's got a regular clamp down. So next is, uh, well eventually we're going to have to find and figure out a fuel tank. I'll have to figure out this spreader back here, whether I'm just going to make it out of sheet metal or what. We'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna ponder around here what I'm gonna do next. Like, there's lots to do. We gotta basically blow it apart. That's kind of the big thing. And go through everything again, but the frame's not quite there yet. I guess I should just build a square, an extension off the back here for this to come back. I guess I have to actually work on the tailgate. That's really what it boils down to. I've been trying to find one, but it looks like I'm pretty much stuck cutting this one up. And by cutting it, I just got to narrow it. I think there's enough meat in the sides that uh, I can just take out of that and not have to touch the middle. Because when it sits on the truck, oop, she's a roller. Yeah, she's like super, super close. Almost looks like it wants to fit, but I know it's too wide. Yeah, I know. There's a little bit. She's a wee, wee bit out. That's okay. We can figure it out. Guess that's going to work on next. We'll slice this sucker up and uh, make it fit. These I welded on, but I didn't weld them fully on because I knew I was going to screw up and I had to uh, cut this back enough for the tailgate to close onto. <clears throat> cool. Well, let's get started. So I lifted the box up. Uh, Notice something was a little tweaked. Had to readjust this rail and put into the front there. Now it looks nice and square. So we're good there. I don't know what, I where I goofed on my measurement, but we're all good everywhere now. I um, think my plan of attack is I got to move this bar up just an inch. And then uh, that should give me room for my tailgate. I can just do a flat something down. Uh, I'll go an inch in. I'm hoping it's gonna line up with this doodad, then I can kind of sheet onto here. I'll probably maybe sandwich this together and do trim some of this back, but do a one by one across here. Unless I leave this two by two in, I'm not sure yet. I might put the two by two in, but I'll bring it up to under that bit. I don't know, it's kind of goofy, but I'm gonna use it to help hold the, the box side tight. So, yeah, I got this piece. I'll notch this out, bring this up. Buzz it in, uh, then we can kind of make uh, a splash pan to go across here. I have to measure my gate to see if it's within this range here. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll first I'll move these things and then I'll kind of mock up tailgate and we'll figure out where we're going from there.
Well, that thing looks like it belongs on there, eh? Look at that stuff. Not too shabby. I even left a little lippy thing on there. It's a little snug. That's okay, we can trim that down. Pull it off and I'll show you what I did. All right. So, what we did was I cut, well, pretty much that much off. And then, uh, uh, what did I do? I shaved the lip, I welded the bottom, I trimmed the top so I could do a flush weld, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. The gate's like, yeah, we'll straighten it a little bit, but in the end, it is what it is. It's a tailgate. They're, uh, they're miserable to make nice, and a feller may as well just buy a new one if you're gonna wanna make it super nice, but it'll be, uh, Rough like the rest of the body work will probably be on this thing. <laughs> Anywho, we got the gate is uh, pretty much done. I got to put the hooks on, but I realize I have the hooks, but they're kind of wrong. They're, I don't know, I guess the other latch sat on top like that, where this one it needs to be like, it needs to really hang off, so. I'll make some new ones. I at least have these bits, so as long as my gate goes past here and I can loop this around, then I can drop the chain in, it'll work. Uh, what's next? What do we got left here? Well, we gotta do this, I don't know fully about the splash pan, but we gotta do the bottom. And because I wanna have some strength down there, I guess I'll keep this pipe in there. I'll probably bring it up to this part, which is like the non-existent floor. I'm probably gonna just sheet metal down. So when you open the gate, there's just that. Unless I drop the gate and I have my fuel tank maybe in there. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Cause then I can have just a nice floor. So that'd be kind of cool. Not like I'm driving with the gate down anyways, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go in for supper and then we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do next year.
You want to go inside? Just about. We got to clean up and then we can go. So we got our tailgate on. I made some really ghetto little mounts in the back there. They're uh, just temporary. Just leave some pipe in there. Yeah, seems to work. Gate like functions. It's a little uh, bent and bendy, but it's on there. I think we done pretty good for now. Uh, so you pretty much have a little bit of everything done, but nothing's finished. Everything's half-assed. <laughs> Anyways, we're uh, we're gonna go in for the night and call her tonight. I'm not sure where I'm at in this video, so I'm. Uh, I'm thinking we might be calling her right now, but we'll see. When I had to do the tweaking, you'll see the one side looks like it's higher, but the angle on the bedside is not the same. The one side and then this side, this one's much higher. There's actually got to come down quite a bit. So we'll work on that. But progress. I think that's good enough for now on that little bit. I think uh, the next step is the uh, lid. She needs a bit of chopping. We need to address the height here. Then we can kind of work on everything else. Actually try to start finishing some stuff. The bed I would say right now is about, ooh, what would I say it's at? We're about halfway there. <laughs> Lots to do, but whatever, it's fun. So I think uh, for now what I'm gonna do is I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this video with this. So uh, as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.